two, four. Four. Okay, so, so the topic for today is cleaning up the app delegate. So it's um uh, so app delegate sounds very boring. So uh so I think the organizer asked me to contribute a small talk. So I thought of this one, I think it can be helpful for you guys. So about me, um here's some information about me. Um I'm a principal software engineer at SP Digital, um the iOS team lead there. I like to bring Agile into the iOS development space. And as what Bina said, I'm also a Tech Talk contributor in this meetup group. So here are my uh, the Tech Talks that I've given. The more recent one is about in the iOS conference about the having um, local host servers to run with your XUI test. So okay, so for my talk today, I need two volunteers to help me out. Can I have two volunteers? Okay, Vijay. Uh, one more, one more. Ah, sir, you look, you look good. Can I have one Okay, uh, Vijay. Sorry, just sit over here. No matter, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, so um, Vijay, so you'll be playing the role of John, and I need you need you to read out the out aloud the text shown in red. It's shown in blue. Okay. So if you are John, you read out a text shown in blue. And so, your name? Keith. Keith. Hello. Yeah. So you'll be playing the role of the boss. And I need you to read out the text shown in red. Okay? Okay. Okay. So today, this, this presentation is actually a story. Story about John. Hi, John. Hey, man. So John is fresh out of school. And he recently picked up iOS development. And he has he has little experience. Thanks. But there's good news guys, because John has a new job. So don't let us down, John. Oh, I'm John now, right? Yeah, you're John. Okay. <laughs> so just read out the text in blue. So John, meet your new boss. The boss. Okay, you just read out. Oh, John. No. The boss, the boss, the boss. <laughs> Welcome aboard, John. Uh, but then, who's supposed to read? No, you're blue. John, you're blue. You're okay. blue. Don't worry okay, about it. Yeah, I got confused between the colors, okay. right? So. Okay. I hear that you can develop iOS apps. We currently have an existing app. I need you to integrate some third party services into the app. Are you up for it? John said. If I can Google for it, then I can do it. <laughs> it doesn't sound right, but anyway, good luck, John. You keep it there. <coughs> so John opens up the Xcode project and he, he inspects the app delegate class over here. And so John says, Based on what I have Googled, I learned that the app delegate class is the entry point of, for the iOS app. This may be a great place to add codes that initializes our third party libraries and services. Okay. So for the first SDK, John decided to integrate Facebook SDK. So he googled for the online iOS documentation and he found this. Um, here, uh, here, I just read out fast. Basically, you just need to connect your app delegate class with the, F, the FB SDK core kit. So you have to import the, add in the import statement and add in uh, FB SDK application delegate and call the method did finish launching with options. So John proceeded back to his Xcode and opened up the app delegate class. And here, he imports FB SDK core kit and the line of code is described in the documentation. And then after completing the task, John said, John. Well, the instructions from the documentation are so simple, so easy to follow. So John became very excited with his work and he went on to Google for more SDKs to integrate. So John found Firebase, 
and the Firebase documentation mentioned to to go to the UI application delegate and in the import statement and in the finish launching method add in the example code uh, Fire, Firebase app to configure. Analytics uh, to add analytics, John decided to use mixed panel. So we found the documentation, and again, the documentation mentioned to actually add the example text in the app delegates did finish launching with options. So John also knows uh, it's essential to have crash reporting feature, so he decides to use Fabric. He googled for the documentation and then he, it, it, um, he, he reached it and again the documentation advises John to go to the appdelegate.swift file and in the did finish launching methods add the example code which is fabric.withtranslatics.self. So here's how the code looks like after integration. So you have the import statements at the top and then in the finishing launching methods, um, the example codes, basically to initialize the different SDKs, all in the app delegate. So after that, John said, adding import statements, adding lines of codes, adding integrations to app delegate is so convenient. So later in the day, the boss dropped by to see John. John, we need the app to handle receiving remote notifications. No problem, boss. <laughs> oh, I think I know where to place these codes. So John goes back to the to the app delegate, and he imports like user notifications, and as well as um, to request for authorizations over here in the deep finishing launching methods. John also created a push notification manager class and he adds that to the app delegate. So in the protocol methods are the register for remote notifications, they receive notification, he will pass the payload, the device token or the payload of the in user info to the push notification um, manager. In additional, um, John also implements the U UN user notification cent center delegate and adds the setup codes over here. So not all these codes are placed within the app delegate definition. And the class is getting bigger and bigger, more codes are spread across different functions. After completing the task, John said, oops, oops. So after completing the task, John said, Push notification handling done. App delegate is looking good. But that is not enough for John. He went on to add more lines of codes into the app delegate. So he decided to add reachability because in the, in the start of the app, he wants to, to add closures to discover when the app, when network is reachable. At the same time, he wants to do some configurations to the UI so he made some changes to the UI appearance, just like UI cat bar. And he wants to start some logging. So for example, using LMO Fire Network Activity Logger. And this is how and he placed these codes in the app delegate so that uh, when the services are started, logging uh, will begin. So now ta it's time for code review. So the boss said, John, I need you to refactor your code. Oh, what happened? Okay. I noticed you've done all the departing integrations into the app delegate. You have just created a massive app delegate. Whoa. Let me explain. So, boss, don't know if it's all yours. <laughs> app delegate has too many import statements. Too 
too many explicit behaviors and methods. single responsibility principle. So the delegate class will be too difficult to maintain. And John asks. But all these code need to be executed at the start of the app. <coughs> well these features do need to be triggered at the beginning. But the features themselves are more dependent on each other. We can apply the adapter's design pattern to make our delegate codes more organized and improve really. So here we will use uh, pseudocode to demonstrate what the boss wants to say. We'll use UI application delegate as our adapter protocol to be integrated into our app. Each feature is required to implement the UI application delegate protocol. <coughs> we can decompose the app delegate into multiple smaller feature delegates. F1, F2, F3. In our main app delegate, we declare, we declare an array containing our feature delegates. In our protocol method, we will look through the array of features and trigger the corresponding method in each feature delegate. Ideally, the order of the feature delegates should not matter. So let's apply this on our codes. So the first one, we have the Facebook SDK. So what we do, we create a, a a class that implements our UI application delegate, and we only put in the codes related to, to Facebook SDK, like the import statement and the lines of code related to that. We do the same thing for the other for other features, uh, like Firebase and Mixpanel, only putting the relevant codes related to that specific SDK or feature into it. So for the push notification manager that John wrote, we can also implement the UI application delegate. And here, um, we add in the finish launching methods uh, and deregister for notifications. We can move our setup codes from the original class over to here. And finally, this is how our revamped app delegate looks like. So the app delegate still implements UI app delegate. And now it has an instance variable that holds the array of sets of feature delegates, or here we use, we name it services. In each of our protocol methods, your application delegate protocol methods, we will look through the delegates and call the corresponding methods of the, of the services. And now, the boss said. In this pattern, we now have Pablo adapters. We can easily add or remove features from our app delegate. So if you create uh, your own um, class that implements your application delegate, you can now just simply create those class and add it over here at the top. Okay. John. Wow, the code is so much cleaner and more readable now. Boss, what if I need to trigger one feature before the others? can trigger that feature using the will finish launching method. Because according to the UI application delegate lifecycle, will finish launching will be triggered before they finish launching. So John, what have you learned today? I learned that although the app delegate is potential ways to initialize app features or services, the app delegate class can become clunky as if we are not careful in how we organize our codes. I also learned that we can all, we can use the adapter design pattern to decompose our app delegate into smaller pluggable feature delegates. I will recommend this approach to all my friends. Well done, John. Now you can go and have your well-deserved rest. So that's a bonus for everybody here. 
So let's say from the class that I've shown, the app delegate class we showed, we will create a base app delegate class. We call for this example, we call it broadcastable app delegate. And here we have a lazy var services where once that is invoked, it will call an open function to call create services. For now, it's empty. We can later override. Um, I'll show you later. But for the rest of the protocol methods, it will be the same, looping through and calling the, the feature delegates uh, protocol methods. And finally, this is how your app delegate can look like, where you only put, only declare the services that are in your app. So one advantage of this is that we separate the responsibility. The first class, the base class, will just be focusing on looping through the protocol methods and informing all the different feature delegates that's ready. <coughs> Um, for now, it's a, a synchronous for loop. You can actually do it like calling all of the feature delegates asynchronously if you want. So oh. it's, it's your choice. Wait, so uh, why is the why is the app delegate a broadcastable app delegate? This one? US now? Yeah. So so the broadcaster app delegate uh, subclass NS object and UI responder. So here we will just uh, be so app delegate will just be a subclass. So when the light, in the life cycle of the app, when the app is being created, you have you add the UI application, the annotation over here, and then, ex oops, sorry. Yeah, so it will create an object of app delegate. I actually forgot what app delegate subclass. So app delegate subclass, the UI response responder, does it? Minimally, NS object, but it also yeah, it's an it, NS object. correct. It also subclass UI responder as well. I didn't notice that. I also didn't notice that until <laughs> I did this. <laughs> yeah. So, so by doing this, you have one class that just focuses on telling all the feature delegates, "Hey, um, your app has launched, the finished launch will resume, etc." The other class just be focusing, responsible, just to declare the services they are in. Any questions? First off, let's. Round of applause for our two volunteers here. Questions? No, no questions? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, why does the FBSDK dedicate service uh, needs to be a subclass of your uh, Should implement the way application delegate? It's just providing a service. So it don't need to be as a plus. True, true, true. It doesn't need to. So when I when I was researching this, I was trying to find how are the different ways to actually make your app look cleaner. So one way you can actually use composition, where you can have the main. App. You can have one. You can have. Let me go back. Yeah, over here. You can have it all in one class. It's uh, like you. Which can be a more defined protocol, which can be a service, which defines what the pattern of the services will be, and then all the services will implement that, that protocol. So, for the adapter pattern, to introduce the adapter pattern, the UI application delegate is the protocol that we will be using. And so, this is just one. So, this proposal is just one example of how you can improve. Any other questions? <coughs> okay, just so just a shout out. Um, so SP Digital is looking for iOS uh, senior iOS engineers. So if you are interested, you can contact uh, me at my email or like Vina over here, or just come to us later. So if you want to take photo, anyway, <laughs> yeah, over here. Okay, thank you.